हाय हेलो नमस्कार दोस्तों कैसे हो आप तो दोस्तों यहाँ पे आज इस वीडियो के अंदर अपन लेके आ चुके हैं एक और जबरदस्त यूट्यूब क्रिएटर को दोस्तों तो यहाँ पे जो है आप इनका चैनल देख सकते हैं इनका नाम जो है अवंतिका बसक करके है दोस्तों और यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं इनका चैनल जो है काफ़ी इंटरेस्टिंग है और इनका जो है एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट जो है यूट्यूब वीडियोस बनाने का वो भी एक काफ़ी यूनिक है दोस्तों यहाँ पे सेल्फ हेल्प रिलेटेड जो है वीडियोस ज़्यादातर ये बनाती है दोस्तों तो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं तो आपके जीवन में हो कोई भी प्रॉब्लम तो आप इनके यूट्यूब वीडियोज़ देख के जो है उनको रिजोल्व कर सकते हैं दोस्तों और बाकी जो है दोस्तों हमने इनके बारे में काफ़ी सारी चीज़ें जानी हैं कैसे ये जो है अपना करियर ग्रोथ में भी जो है ध्यान दे रही है यूट्यूब कैसे उसको डेवलप कर रही है और ये इनका चैनल जो है कैसे ग्रो हो रहा है लाइफ में क्या क्या स्ट्रगल्स आई है इनके जीवन में कैसे जो है इन्होंने अलग अलग टेक्निक्स का यूज करके जो है उनसे जो है बाहर आई है दोस्तों तो यहाँ पे इनका चैनल जो है अभी आप देख सकते हैं काफी खूबसूरत से वीडियोस जो है यहाँ पे बनाए हैं और सबसे बढ़िया वाला जो है इनका यह सैमसंग का एक रिव्यू वीडियो था जो कि काफी बढ़िया चला है उसके अलावा आप देख सकते हैं कि अलग अलग टाइप के वीडियो जो है मैनिफेस्टेशन जो है इनका मेन यहाँ पे मेरे हिसाब से जो है यूट्यूब का एक थीम है एक नीच है दोस्तों तो आपको इसके रिलेटेड कोई भी मतलब लाइफ में प्रॉब्लम हो तो आप उनसे सीख सकते हैं कि कैसे जो है उस प्रॉब्लम से बाहर आया जा सके बाकी तो ज़्यादातर यूट्यूब पे आपको मिल मिल ही जाएगा कि भाई पैसे कैसे अट्रैक्ट करने हैं लग्जरी कैसे अट्रैक्ट करनी गाड़ी कैसे अट्रैक्ट करनी है बंगला कैसे अट्रैक्ट करना है बट जीवन में कैसे खुश रहना है लाइफ के प्रॉब्लम्स जो है उसको कैसे डील करना है स्ट्रेस से कैसे बाहर निकालना है एंगर को कैसे मैनेज करना है मैनीफेस्टेशन से तो ये सब चीज़ें आप यहाँ पर देख सकते हैं दोस्तों बहुत ही खूबसूरत YouTube का चैनल है इनका अभी भले ही यहाँ पे आपको सब्सक्राइबर काफी कम लग रहे हो बट कुछ ही समय के अंदर ये जो है मतलब 2024 के एंड के पहले मेरे हिसाब से जो है एक लाख सब्सक्राइबर तक ये पहुंच जाएगी आप देख सकते हैं इनका डिस्क्रिप्शन और इन्होंने जो है ट्वेंटी 19 में जो है ये YouTube वीडियो YouTube चैनल शुरू किया है 35 फाइव वीडियोज अब तक अपलोड करे हैं तो आप भी जो है इनके YouTube चैनल को जो है सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिएगा उसके अलावा जो है इनका Instagram भी है तो Instagram पे भी काफ़ी खूबसूरत से जो है फोटोज पोस्ट रील्स जो है डालती है दोस्तों आप देख सकते हैं और उसके अलावा जो है जैसे कि मैंने आपको बताया था कि ये जो है एक्चुअल में आ, क्या बोलते हैं कि आ, एक यूट्यूबर ही नहीं है एक स्टूडेंट ही नहीं है दोस्तों ये जो है बच्चों को पढ़ाती भी है एक एंटरप्रेन्योर भी है एक क्रिएटिव आर्टिस्ट भी है तो आप देख सकते हैं काफ़ी खूबसूरत से मंडाला ड्राइंग्स करती है इस तरीके के जो है कार्ड्स भी बनाती है जो कि ये जो है सब प्रोडक्ट्स को सेल भी करती है तो दोस्तों आप इनसे कॉन्टैक्ट करके ये सब प्रोडक्ट्स आप खरीद भी सकते हैं दोस्तों तो यहाँ पर आप देख सकते हैं कि उनके अलग अलग डिज़ाइंस यहाँ पर आपको इंस्टाग्राम पर मिल जाएंगे तो इनकी इंस्टाग्राम लिंक जो है मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल दूंगा वहाँ से आप उनको डीएम करके उनके आर्ट वर्क को जो है मंगा सकते हैं उसके साथ ही साथ ज्वेलरी भी डिज़ाइन करती है तो इसकी भी बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी है दोस्तों कैसे जो है आ, हमारे आ, क्या बोलते हैं कि आ, ये यूट्यूब क्रिएटर जो है ये ज्वेलरी बनाने के फील्ड में आई और कैसे यार इनको जो है बहुत ही ज़बरदस्त रिस्पॉन्स और सक्सेस मिला तो आप भी जो है इनसे सीख सकते हैं कि कैसे जो है आप जीवन के अंदर जो है सक्सेसफुल हो सकते हैं एंटरप्रेन्योर्स की जर्नी कैसे शुरू होती है कहाँ कहाँ पे अटकते हैं कैसे उनसे बाहर आया जा सकता है आप देख सकते हैं एक से बढ़कर एक जो है यहाँ पे आपको डिज़ाइंस मिल जाएंगे और इनसे आप सीख सकते हैं और ख़रीद भी सकते हैं तो यहाँ पे जो है आपको डी करके चीज़ों को मंगाना होता है आप देख सकते हैं पाँच से दस दिनों का टाइम लगता है और एटी रुपीज़ जो है ऑल ओवर इंडिया शिपिंग चार्ज है तो काफ़ी इंटरेस्टिंग जर्नी है दोस्तों अभी जो है यहाँ पे फोर्थ ईयर के अंदर है दोस्तों सी के अंदर सी क्या बोलते कंप्यूटर साइंस के अंदर दोस्तों ये वाले कॉलेज के अंदर तो यहाँ पे काफ़ी वो सब चीज़ें भी बातें हुई है तो आपको ये कॉलेज के रिलेटेड भी कोई क्वेरीज हो कोर्सेज के रिलेटेड क्वेरीज हो तो वो भी आप पूछ सकते हैं दोस्तों तो यहाँ पे इस जो पॉडकास्ट को जो है मैं तीन भागों में डिवाइड करा हुआ है तो आप बारी बारी करके जो है तीनों को देख सकते हैं तीनों की जो है लिंक में या तो प्ले लिस्ट लिंक जो बोलते हैं वो डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल दूंगा इसको आप जरूर से चेकआउट करेगा तो चलिए दोस्तों पॉडकास्ट करते हैं शुरू इट्स ग्रेट सो can you share something about yourself like uh, uh, how did you get into this uh, kind of field did you study psychology or any kind of thing like that or uh, oh, i am a pure science background student okay i am a pure science background student currently i am in my fourth year of btech uh, btech degree in csc okay i came across this via youtube i was uh, like scrolling i guess and um, video on law of attraction came um, on my feed okay. and i saw it for the first time i was like uh, i don't know how this works it's very new to me mm-hmm. i didn't know it's possible uh, but unconsciously i kind of manifested my class 10 marks okay. so every day i used to you know pray to god that um, i hope i get 
that time it actually hit me that maybe i kind of manifested it in my life so uh, from that i was like yeah i think this works mm-hmm. i think i've done it maybe in future you will be also a spiritual uh, guru uh, who can uh, teach kind of online <laughs> maybe like a sandeep maheshwari oh, or uh, like uh, a sadguru because they also no no say this thing maybe you are not right now thinking about it but because of your effort no actually uh, their path is completely different than mine because i believe that they are more of a religious kind of a person religious plus spiritual kind of a person but uh, for me i practically believe in the source uh, or the universe or god whatever anybody calls it. so i don't see myself there but obviously if someone asks for my help or one on one coaching in future i'm planning to do that mm-hmm. uh, i i'm planning to help people but um, all of that after i uh, get a job or after i get a secured career after that i'm uh, planning to do that mm-hmm. and what kind of uh, things do you teach to your students like as you said that uh, you are you have uh, some students at night slots oh yeah uh, i am actually um, I, um my students are actually in class 10 right now okay. so they are the both students okay. uh, so i teach a uh, science background and english okay so uh, can we say that uh, you are very scholar students student in your uh, schooling days who can uh, teach I, i used to study a lot like uh, mm. i used to i i was very studious in my uh, school days now to uh, in engineering as you know um, it's more of a practical thing than a uh, studies mm-hmm. and did you study in english medium or uh, lo- local language i'm from icc background okay so that's why yeah, your english is, is english level is very good which will help you in uh, your uh, maybe career also because it it required yeah. in the it background okay that's nice and uh, how how do you feel uh, or why do you join computer science because you get it or you have any plan to start like facebook or anything big project I joined computer background because uh, I like computer in my class 9 10 uh, and uh, in my class 9 10 I used to like computer but uh, my uh, uncle he was a doctor like pathologist so in my 11s I I was bit biased towards biology so I left computer I took up biology in my 11 12 uh, but soon i realized biology is not for me i can't learn so many theories and all so then i completely switched to the computer background mm-hmm. and how do you feel which subjects do you feel a little bit hard i guess now the subjects is hard for you but still if you like to share which subjects you feel Actually, uh, semester wise my subjects came so i guess dsa this is dsa data structures and algorithms and uh, did you start studying compiler design or it's maybe not yeah yeah and, uh, we had uh, we had compiler design in my second year so compiler designing is done uh, do you understand it or it's uh, not that much uh, easy compiler designing uh, was more of a theory based subject so mm-hmm. it was okay but not uh, as hard as i found uh, last uh, semester we had our esp like uh, if you know what uh, like our college uh, takes up gate subjects like all the gate subjects and they prepare exams on it like mm-hmm. one single day we have all the subjects in one mm-hmm. like uh, in gate we have um, computer networks mm-hmm. coa then os then uh, Compare DSA, DAA, all the subjects included. We have like one day. We had um, our exam. Uh, first day we had I guess um, data analytics, and mm-hmm. the very next day we had ESP. 
so we got like four to five hours to study mm -hmm. all these subjects that was the hardest thing that i have done mm -hmm. like all the subjects together i had to give the exam okay and uh, do you study any kind of uh, artificial intelligence or uh, data science related subjects or maybe last sem last yes, semester data science yes yes we had it in my uh, i guess third semester we had mm -hmm. our uh, ai ml subject yeah means so do you study uh, any kind of uh, subjects related to gaming and game programming video game programming or no no animation oh, no. we didn't study okay we didn't have that in our curriculum okay and uh, now we can, we will try to move towards a little bit of manifestation do you think uh, uh, means uh, we can uh, talk with uh, this is not exactly related to manifestation but uh, can we talk with uh, you know our ancestor or ghost or something like that or it's it's a uh, not truth true thing do you think so see um, from my experience i haven't really tried it okay uh, some people say it's possible so maybe it's possible but i have never tried it and um, see i believe that uh, whatever we think is true is true. so you may think it's bizarre but uh, when uh, things go south for me i talk to um, i have a little uh, you know a statue of krishna in mm -hmm. my house okay. so it's gopal small okay. gopal so whenever things go south i just talk to him like he's my brother i talk to him mm -hmm. and um, by some miracle uh, things again start going you know like things go smooth again mm -hmm. so if for some people they think that uh, they can talk to their ancestors and it can help them in some way and maybe it's possible for them mm -hmm. i can speak from only my experience so yeah. okay and uh, do you think that uh, re reincarnation and this kind of uh, uh, philosophies also exist or how do you reincarnation feel uh, i have uh, when i was a teen i uh, got very interested in these kind of subjects and you, i used to see a lot of videos on you know the randeer show and all and i saw many stories of these re reincarnations i i think they can be true i think rebirth is possible mm -hmm. so uh, do you think like that because you know actually as an example when i was a uh, uh, we can say teen so i used to uh, in our school they promote uh, uh, swami vivekanand thoughts so i read lot of books related yeah. to swami vivekanand then uh, i also read uh, bhagavad gita and a few related uh, uh, scriptures uh, and uh, after that uh, i also uh, start uh, listening to few uh, uh, spiritual gurus not 100% spiritual guru but uh, rajiv dikshit maybe you heard about him so he is also very good yeah. thinking process of a lot of things but uh, he is a flavor of politics as well but uh, we can also get a little bit of knowledge from his uh, so uh, uh, his thinking uh, so uh, uh, after that i also heard lot of uh, audios of uh, 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 what we say uh, i forget the name just a second so actually you know i just want to say that uh, uh, i i try to explore different uh, uh, thoughts and uh, try to understand what's going on so sometime i feel that in initial days like uh, you used to yeah so i, I remember the, the name of that person so i used to hear the audios of osho as well so he is also having a good thought process mm -hmm. and uh, so i also heard lot of audio of uh, sandeep maheswari as well and a few spiritual gurus as well and uh, some motivational speakers as well so you know uh, i found out that uh, in early days like in egyptian days or maybe before that days they used to consider a, a kind of energy or uh, we can say god like a nature like a sun water yeah. fire Uh, land maybe some stars so after that uh, 
uh, some uh, kings say that because they are powerful so say they started uh, uh, Pharaoh, forcing their Pharaoh, yeah, huh, yeah. They start worshiping them yeah. yes so they want uh, people think they are god after maybe this or yeah. parallel to that and after that uh, this all phenomenon gets started the person so basically basically they have writers what? poets they make uh, books and scriptures and things like that but uh, you know so i guess this way maybe this uh, whole concept of uh, uh, this uh, god and uh, believing in god is slowly slowly develop even in india actually even in india actually if you see uh, like uh, we were taught in school like in the early vedic age we used to worship uh, different forms of nature like agni yeah surya yeah then wind bayu uh, we used to worship them but slowly in the later vedic age we started giving these entities different names yeah shiva devi so uh, this concept has also come in india indian culture as well yeah so basically i just want to say that uh, uh, the main the philosophy uh, keep behind this is that uh, we believe uh, something which is not achievable but we believe in that and we get spend some time we also have some energy and we get some energy from nature uh, maybe there is no specific person over there but in that way we can get things done or we can get out of our sorrow get out of our uh, uh any problems so uh, do you think uh, i'm uh, thinking in a direction or uh, this is something can... separate thing no no uh, there can be two perspectives to this okay like uh, there is law of attraction law of assumption like mm-hmm. if you know law of attraction people believe that if you are in the frequency of the thing that you want to achieve you will achieve it okay and in law of assumption we believe that um, whatever is true for us will happen it's like a placebo effect. like uh, you know like uh, when we go for a match or a player who starts to play before he plays he has that one lucky t-shirt that he has to wear mm-hmm. um to win the match and it actually happens you have seen like many uh, famous cricketers or actors they'll say that we have this lucky thing uh, we use it before we go for acting so it's mm-hmm. kind of a placebo effect they believe that that uh, that thing will bring them the success and it does mm-hmm. so that's kind of a law of assumption and a uh, law of attraction is the energy theory that we had yeah also um there is a law of detachment mm-hmm. which says that um if you think about something or you obsess over something for too long from the perspective of needing or wanting you get that thing uh, the need and want more like your manifestation will be delayed mm-hmm. because you are too much attached to the to the thing so we practice law of detachment like uh, suppose you forget about something like you want to manifest something but uh, you wrote it down somewhere and you completely forgot about that thing and after a few months when you get that writing again you read it you are like oh yeah that that thing happened i actually mm-hmm. made that happen so that's law of detachment so yeah energy also plays an important role like whatever in general i believe that whatever you think is true is working for you as a technique is working for you to manifest your achievements mm-hmm. it will work for you actually you know uh, when i am listening to you i i started thinking about uh, reflection of deepak chopra because he also speak like you uh, maybe you heard about his videos as well somewhere he is also th- talking about this things as well, so many times because every person have a uh, that uh, level of energy if they believe in something they can achieve it uh something not just money yeah yeah true happiness they can achieve without money as well uh without any yeah, yeah. superficial things so uh maybe you are kind of reflection of him we can say actually uh 
I completely came into manifestation last year. Mm-hmm. Last year, and I made a vision board out of those all fancy vision boards I used to see on twenty twenty three. I guess the New Year hit, and all my feet was filled with vision boards. So okay. I made a vision board, and I remember specifically putting a picture of a beach. Okay, mm-hmm. I was so drawn to beach that time that I want to go to a beach. I stuck it okay on my vision board, and um, I guess late. August or September, my friends came over to my house for my sister's birthday. So they pointed out to me that, uh, you, hey, you know, like in your vision board you had that beach, and uh, you actually manifested it. I actually went in August mm-hmm. uh, to Puri, and it was completely free of cost. I didn't have to pay one single penny for it. Mm-hmm. I didn't believe that can be possible that year, mm-hmm. like. that thing like going to puri was completely unachievable for me at mm-hmm. that point of time we didn't uh, like my uh, mother and sister we didn't have plan of going to any beach that year but uh, i went there mm-hmm. and i enjoyed a complete 3 uh, days tour without even spending one penny mm-hmm. so we can say it's a positive uh, results of manifestation Yeah, actually, I that, that's actually law of detachment. I stuck that picture. I had somewhere believed that that may be possible this year, and it actually happened. Mm-hmm. And I I completely forgot about. It. My friends mm-hmm. actually reminded me of. This. That's cool. So basically, vision board is very powerful. Uh, we can uh, uh, design something like that, which will help our conscience. So I uh, can you tell me a little bit about about our conscious. Ness or conscious mind, uh, does this uh, whole funda work on it, or it's not related to that? No, see, uh, we have two brains. Okay, like a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. Everybody knows that. Now, the conscious mind, according to me, is the gatekeeper of your subconscious mind. Mm-hmm. Like when you are awake, most of your thoughts are going on in your conscious mind. Not on your subconscious mind. Like subconscious mind is your controller, is your driver, but the conductor is your uh, conscious mind. Okay. Like uh, so, if you are feeding yourself some affirmations, I know. I hope you know what affirmations are. It's like the positive self talk we do in order to um, instill a belief in our head. Okay. So if we are affirming something, and the gatekeeper is like that, I'm not going to accept this affirmation. Then the subconscious mind will also not get feeded with the affirmation. Mm-hmm. That's why uh, most of the people, you know, they suggest to make affirmations which are actually a little bit believable to them. Like if you have this much bubble, if you have the self concept bubble of this much, try to expand it to this much, and then again this much, then again this much, and then you start feeding yourself the more affirmations that you can mm-hmm. that are actually believable. To you. and uh, you know these days uh, you have seen that a lot of people uh, have a problem of stress uh, uh, maybe because uh, they are watching lot of content uh, sometimes they also feel jealous because some person get uh, this 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 uh, success in their life so uh, does this kind of thinking help to come out of any kind of depression or stable your mind or uh, what kind of uh, mindset uh, maybe without going to psychologist or doctor can we do it by ourselves or for some kind of thing we need to consult them and later on we will start using this manifestation or see uh, for stress and everything you know uh, if you come to manifestation also that responsibility that your entire life is actually controlled by you your thoughts what you tell yourself is true that's also a very big responsibility and it comes with a lot of stress because um, many content say that uh, you need to be happy in order to manifest many uh, content say that you don't need to be happy you can cry also while manifesting so it's a lot of you know contradictions so if you are coming to manifestation i would suggest that uh, do whatever is believable for you do whatever you believe is true and easy for you like uh, in the initial days 
I used to see a lot of content on affirmation, robotic affirmation. Like constantly, you have to affirm in order to get your achievement. But um, I'm a very anxious person. Okay, like uh, if I don't see movement, I I start to panic a lot. Like where is my manifestation? Where is my manifest? I used to panic a lot. But uh, recently, my Instagram feed was filled, you know, with one line, one quote from uh, Bhagavad Gita. That said, karm karte jao, fal ki chinta mat karo. And that one line, like in one week, I saw that line, I guess five times. And my friends also told me, like in some conversation, they were telling me this line continuously. And I was like, maybe the universe is suggesting me to like let things go and just sit back, do whatever is my work, like uh, my day-to-day activities, and just let go of my. Uh, manifestations and it will come to me i did that you know for a few days and slowly and steadily the my life is going now in a direction where i want it to go mm-hmm. so my suggestion for the people who are really stressed is um, do your daily activities if you are following any manifestation technique do it like once or twice as much as it takes you to bring you to the state of uh, you know the state of getting that feeling that you have that manifestation and please let it go mm-hmm. like stop thinking about it or if whenever you think you just know that it's done it will come to you and do the activities that are actually important to you in your day to day life just don't stop everything and focus uh, completely on your manifestation that will create you know the thought of wanting and needing mm-hmm. that thing too much and it will it can cause delay okay and uh, you know as an example in a lot of uh, uh, spiritual streams they uh, uh, say don't eat uh, tamasic food or uh, uh, don't eat uh, you know onion or garlic or something like that so do you think uh, if i eat junk food every day and uh, you know manifest that uh, uh, this is good for my health good for my health and uh, i just eat anything i see or anything i like or my tongue my taste like rather than thinking about uh, what will happen so does it uh, uh, or as an example we will think another way like can i think that i can fly and uh, i i can fly and fly and i jump from the uh, jump from the top place or maybe uh, does it happen like uh, i'm going to fly or this kind of uh, situation we can say consider is extreme situation for manifestation we should not use this in that no, way it completely Yeah, yeah, I understand. See, um, what I believe is, um, whatever I teach is a mixture of you know law of attraction, law of assumption. So, I would say, if you know the law completely, like if you have read the secret and um, many books on uh, Neville Goddard books, uh, then you know that um, whatever you believe is true will be true for you. like uh, you uh, there are some instances i guess you know like um, people in early days uh, who were like sadhus they could fly to a certain extent like while they are in a deep meditative state they could mm-hmm. fly so i believe if they believe that maybe that's possible for them but mm-hmm. i have that limiting belief that uh, self in my mind that dude you can't fly you are a human being you can't fly So for me, if I jump off the cliff, I'll straight go down mm-hmm. because I have that limiting belief that I can't fly. Maybe if a person who believes that he can fly from the cliff, he will be able to fly. Mm-hmm. But it's better right now. Don't take too much risk on manifestation. Uh, we can improve our daily routine life. Uh, as an example, you know, uh, I also used to uh, hear a lot of, uh, as you said. Uh, the secret uh, that that uh, maybe one or half hour clip or audio video uh-huh. clip so uh, the book is also available on the same concept the the name yeah, yeah. is the secret so actually uh, they said uh, 
difficult uh, situation like a person who have a accident and uh, if they are thinking uh, bad things about uh, or we can say cursing their whatever happening it will not help to come out of that situation but if they think ah, positive like my legs start working my this working my uh, maybe if they are paralyzed then they think about in a way using a subconscious mind maybe they can uh, get results so that is bigger achievement i guess than jumping from uh, yeah. somewhere is it true in that way or how do you think mm-hmm. see there are many miraculous cases that have been solved by uh, you know just the mindset uh, for example the best example would be if you have watched doctor strange the yes. marvel the yes. marvel movie the first movie the first movie was actually the astral basis like they actually showed how manifestation actually works yes true true and i i would say that the best that the best, best example you can see if you want to get manifestation Best example, I guess. Yeah, Doctor Strange, his hands were completely, uh, you know, like not uh, working. Deformed, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, he, uh, those people in, uh, I guess, Kathmandu, they taught him how to get past that sorrow, get past that depression, get past of the limiting belief that uh, he can't, uh, you know, perform with his hands mm. anywhere. Soon. and they gave them the positive light of life mm. that there are many things beyond that can do so i would say if you are doubting yourself too much you can watch that movie. that that would be really helpful so i guess that this this will also help to you know uh, cure at some level of cancer uh, different kind of you know disease related to maybe kidney disease or diabetes people also have a lot of stress in their life i don't need to eat this but if they use this in positive way uh, maybe they get a faster result in that way because this is uh, yeah these days you know people are stress with uh, everything i guess they don't get this they get stress they don't yeah. get that you know uh, there is even that thing and also that uh, some people they start with manifestation they don't see any result coming in their life and they just give up mm. on it even that's bad you actually need to believe that it's going to work only mm-hmm. then it's going to work you know so i believe that mentality is very important like if a person is suffering from a disease his or her mental health will be already down because mm-hmm. he or she like if it's extreme case like uh, you know cancer or something like that their mental health would be really down because number one financial pressure is going on mm-hmm. family pressure and their health they are going through a lot of medicine so my uh, one of my relatives they they went through the entire process chemotherapy radiation everything so from a very personal view i have seen it, uh, mm-hmm. how much pressure that goes on but the person um they were you know mentally very strong they had a reason that i have to come back for my kids mm-hmm. i have to be strong for my kids so uh, she came back after everything and with god's grace uh, she is now perfect mm-hmm. she she was you know mentally strong mm-hmm. she was that i have to uh, be good i have to be good in my health wise because my kids are there. like uh, i have my kids they are very young i have to survive for them and uh, with god's grace she is perfect right now like that's also a kind of manifestation you can say your mental work or your self concept is very important when it comes to manifestation mm-hmm. and uh, what do you say that uh, in christianity they also have a concept of uh, uh, you know uh, share your all uh what do you say whatever the bad things you do uh, confess you know confession uh, can you con- consider confession uh, as confession. a manifestation or it's not like it's another psychological technique or what do you think about it lot of uh, other than christianity lot of people also uh, uh, consider this as a technique uh, to See, get rid of problems um, i believe confession is kind of accepting that you have done something you are taking accountability for it 
mm-hmm. you know and even in manifestation if you want to do a manifestation suppose um uh, what can i give it now um, suppose you are broke right now mm-hmm. and you want to buy an iphone a new iphone accepting your state of situation that yes i am broke i don't have money right now that can also give you a clear picture you know like this is my state right now i have to go there so accepting it um in christianity i guess they do it with a priest kind of a thing yeah. and what i do in my personal life is i journal up whatever i have done if if, if i have done something which i feel is not good for me i journal it down Mm-hmm. Okay. It's kind of confession only. Like I'm writing it down. They are just uh, saying it vocally to a person. So I journal it down and I just shut it down and keep. It. Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of accepting what I have done. It's accepting what my state is right now, and uh, I just compare it with my higher self or the self I want to see myself in next, you know, one or two years, which will be much mature than me. I see that, and I feel that um, is this something she would do? Is mm-hmm. this something uh, she would prefer doing? Uh, if the answer is no, then I, you know, completely forget about it, or I revise that this this thing didn't happen, or this this thing is not possible for me. I can't do it anymore, and then I move on with my life. Accepting things actually helps you to grow as a person, you know. Mm-hmm.